morning everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so this morning as you can see i'm just sat with a cup of coffee i am uploading a video you can't quite see in the corner but it's about 25 past nine i am actually doing this voiceover like a whole day and a half later um because i couldn't talk through this bit because my dad was in bed at the time and i didn't want to wake him up while i was doing this so i just thought i'd voice over it instead of waking him um because both my mom and dad worked till really late so i'm just all in a video this morning so i'd been downstairs i think it's about 20 past nine at this point uh, i'd been downstairs got myself a coffee like done all the usual morning stuff like got dressed um did my skincare and all that sort of fun stuff and then i come back up to upload a video i'm just showing you how i do that and the process of it um and then obviously the rest of this video will basically just be my day on the Monday and Tuesday. So Monday the 11th of April and Tuesday the 12th of April. Um, basically just taking you along both those days with me so you can see what my typical days consist of. Um, so here I've just edited my um, description and then I'm just going to paste this into the description box on the YouTube content creation sort of page. Um and then once I've done that, we go through all the boring stuff of like uh, what language it is and the thumbnail and if it's for children or not and all that sort of thing. And then I can upload this. But as you can see at the bottom, it's still got 34 minutes. So once I've finished filling in all this information and everything, I then, um, I think I just sat to be fair, I sat just scrolling through my phone, like uploading photos to instagram editing any videos that i'd got to do blah 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 like just getting stuff done being productive because my first client i usually start around half 10 11 and this day just happened to be 11 o'clock but obviously i will talk through the rest of this video like as it happens i'm only just voice over in this bit because like i said needed to be quiet and i just thought i'd do this in bed because my mom had got up early and then gone downstairs sat on the sofa and must have fell asleep so when i went downstairs to make my coffee she was asleep so i didn't want to get in her way so i just decided to have a nice morning in bed doing what i needed to do so even though i was in bed still i still managed to be quite productive um but yeah so once i finished this step i'm then finished and then my day can start So it took a really long time for that video to upload. It's literally 25 past 10 and it's not long uploaded. Um, so I've done that. I've obviously like got ready. I need to sort this hair out and make myself look a bit more presentable. Um, and then we can get on with the day. So I've got four clients in today. Um, one, the first one is at 11. So obviously it's 25 past 10. I'm gonna go and sort this mop out and then I can get going with my working day. Okay, I'm in the nail room now, just waiting for my first client. It is quarter to 11 and she's in at 11, so she could be here at any time. So I'm just cutting up some wax paper strips at the moment. I've got loads here. Obviously, I'm not going to cut all of those, but I just pop them in these cute little, this little container that I got from AliExpress, um, along with some of these. I need to just top them up. So obviously, it's a Monday morning. I'm just making sure that everything is ready for at least today, and if not, like for the rest of the week. And then once this client has been, I'm... I'm gonna try really hard this time in this daily vlog to actually like film everything so you can see exactly what I do in a day but I'm really good at forgetting that I'm filming aren't I so I'm gonna cross my fingers that I'm not I need to stop waving these scissors around but I'm gonna cross my fingers that I'm not gonna forget um so yeah I will hopefully do a little clip of whatever my client decides to go for it's a build a gel appointment I can't actually remember off the top of my head what I've got booked in today. I mean, I know that I've got obviously her first and then third, I've got an acrylic infill, just plain color. Um, and then she's having toes as well. And then my last client is also a builder gel um, infill appointment, but I'm not sure what my second one is. So I do need to have a quick look. But for now, I'm just gonna basically, so my, like, so my clients know when they can come in. My door has a little, open closed sign on it if the weather outside is rubbish i have that set to open so they know if it's nice which it is today i just open the door and then they know they can come straight in they don't need to knock and disturb my dogs or anything um they can just come straight in because they know that i'm always sat in here anyway so i'm just going to open the door now so my client knows that she can come in as soon as she gets here and i will meet you back here when i finish her nails today i also need to do the tops of my new gel perfection bottles because they don't have the color on the lids anymore 
so I need to paint some little sticky dots for those um, and then other things I'm not really going to plan too much because when I plan things and I don't get stuff done I really kick myself I get really mad so um, I don't want to feel like I failed today so I'm just going to go with the flow so I've just cut up some more of those you just see that that's almost full now um, so I'm just going to do a few more while I'm making with her and then I'll meet you back here when she is gone basically and I'll show you what she had okay so I've just finished my first client I will pop a clip of her nails in here Um, so she had some pretty like spring um like floral sort of set for obviously spring because we're in april now so it's not weird to have spring nails which i need to get into my head because it's so weird <laughs> that it's already this time of year so now i'm just waiting for my second one um she is due in at one o'clock it's now 10 past 12 so i've got 50 minutes just to get some things done i think to be fair i'm not gonna get anything done i think i'm literally just gonna probably eat maybe i'm gonna eat something um i am counting like trigger warning for anyone who gets triggered by like talking about weight loss and like calorie counts and things like that i am just going to quickly mention it but i am calorie counting um i'm not going to go into detail or anything because there isn't anything to really talk about but so all of my meals basically i set out like way before um so on sunday i set out everything that i'm going to eat from today till thursday because then on friday i've got date day with my partner and we're going to birmingham on the train we're going to have bottomless brunch at las iguanas and then we're going to go for some cocktails at be at one afterwards and do a bit of holiday shopping for essentials and things that we need for like toiletries and stuff um so i'm looking forward to that so basically friday i won't be calorie counting but then i'll be back on it from saturday um so yeah, I think I'm going to have some lunch, have another cup of coffee or maybe some squash because I'm actually thirsty and coffee obviously doesn't help that. So I'm going to have some squash. Um, but yeah, and then we'll see what my next client has. Morning everyone, it's the next day now, so it is Tuesday. I just wanted to quickly catch you up because yesterday I ended up going so quick I didn't have time, like in between clients and stuff. So my third client came at three. Um, I didn't take a picture of hers because we did her nails and toes. I always forget to take pictures of nails when I do toes, but she just had grey with a glitter a silver glitter fade on these two and the rest just plain dark grey so they were really nice um i have got a picture of the fourth client like my last one so i will insert a clip like a picture of hers here um and then i did do it before and after that actually so i'll, I'll insert the before as well and then after that so she came at five she left about half past six I made dinner straight away. We had some chicken wraps with like some peppers, um, cucumber, some beetroot salad, like a crunchy one from Tesco. It's so nice. Um, what else did we have? And yeah, just just wraps, the things you have on wraps. Um, so we had those for dinner yesterday and then basically gave that half an hour to go down and went to the gym straight away like we usually do every night. So we're at the gym for half past eight. I think we got home about quarter past ten. Um, and I'll insert the clip here of what I did at the gym. So I literally just walked on the treadmill for 65 minutes um, on an incline for 55 minutes of those and that is my workout. Like I don't do weights or anything at the moment. I'm still quite weak from the glandular fever so I'm just doing what I can for now. Um, but it all helps with my calorie deficit, so it's it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and start my day today. It is now half past ten, I've got someone at 11, so I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee and then get going. So it's just gone half past two. My 1pm client has just left um, and I will attach a picture here of what my first client had and what my second client had. Um, so my first client went all spring-like and then my second one just wanted something. Um, she's actually one of my neighbours. She literally lives right over the road of the bungalows opposite me, which is nice. So it's a nice, nice quick walk for her to get here. Um, and she just had something nice and neutral, but like a nice marble, so it's not too plain. Um, and then I've got one more tonight this evening because my next one that is usually in at three o'clock has rescheduled to next week because she's having car problems. So I've got a little bit of a gap now. Um, I do need to do those swatches for the lids of these new polishes because the new Gel Perfection bottles don't have the swatches on the lids like the old ones do. And the old ones were shiny and had lids and these ones are matte and don't. I love the matte bottle. 
Um, so it's almost like it's worth having no colour on the lid for a matte bottle because I love a matte bottle. But I need to do those, but I also need to have something quick to eat. So I'm just going to go make my lunch, um, which I'm probably going to have a couple of bagels. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think I'm, I might chill out. I might do a video. Like, I'm not sure yet. Um, at this moment in time, I am busting for a week. So I need to go um, and do that. And then, yeah, I've got, I've got a couple of hours now to my last one at five o'clock. So I'll see what I end up doing. But... Let's just wait and see what I can be bothered to do by the time I finish my lunch, basically. So I've got my lunch. I've just got two bagels and some seafood sticks. I've got these two waiting for it, even though I'm not going to give them any. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and eat this. And I've decided I'm going to do those swatches for the tops of my bottles because I keep putting it off and I need to do it. My dog thinks if he hides, I can't see him. I spot the willow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go and do that. So you can do that with me. And then... I think to be fair, I'm going to leave this there. Like after my last client, I will show you my last client's nails, um, what I have for dinner and what I do at the gym. And then once I finish that, I think I'm just going to leave it as like a two day sort of vlog instead of like a weekly thing. Cause I sort of want to get it up on probably Thursday or Friday for that video. So yeah, I'm just probably going to leave it there because I don't have a lot to do the rest of the week either. It's just clients, same as today and yesterday. Um, so yeah, he's moved around here now because he thinks that I can't see him still if he doesn't make eye contact with me, but yeah. Um, so I'll basically eat this and then we can do those swatches. Okay, I'm back in the nail room now. Um, I'm just gonna do these swatches of the colors. I've got three, six, nine, 12, 14, 14 to do oh, let me just get him a chair so I need to do these so to do them I'll just move move those over I don't know why I put them there that was a bit stupid move them over a bit and then get my lamp next to me so the way I'm going to do it is with these dots I get from Amazon if you check below on my Amazon storefront they are on there somewhere um, probably in the non-nail related essentials no probably salon essentials or something like that and you get these dots they're in a mess because they're not really that sticky but basically they're like you peel the backing off them and then stick them to the back of these so I use these dots like I don't paint the top because then you'd have to top coat I just paint the bottom of them because then it obviously saves on top coat and it's much easier so two four six eight ten twelve so I'm gonna do this twelve first I'm just going to open my bottles and put them in the order of how I'm going to do the dots. So as I do them, I'll just like put them back. I usually do just one coat of colour on them because I don't really need the colour. I don't use the colour on the lid like for clients to look at my colours because they're on swatch sticks and stuff. Um, so they're all like already here swatched properly for clients to see but I do like to have them on the lids like just basically for me to find them easier on my shelves because there's quite a few colours up there um so that's the only reason I paint the top so I don't actually need the colour like to be perfect sort of thing it just makes it easier for me to grab the colours basically so I'm just going to do the first 12 it shouldn't take too long to be fair because I paint them all like and then put them all in at once i just leave them on here pop them into the lamp and then i can pull them off afterwards so i'm just going to get straight into it and i'll just paint the bottom bit and then before i pop them onto the bottle itself i just take the tacky layer off and as you can see it really is that easy it just means that I can find my gel polishes better. A lot of people asked me about these when I was selling my Magpie gels because I did the same for those. So when I put them up for sale and obviously sent them out to everyone, people that I sold them to were like, where did you get these from? So yeah, they are just Amazon. I'm really milking this one. I'm putting far too much product on. I just took off a bit of the excess because there's a bit too much on there. I'll do but yeah you can do multiple coats I mean to be fair like I'll have a look what they look like when I've done the first one if there is any that I feel that need to I can do another one it's not a problem but 
as long as they look similar to the colour it's not really a big a big issue right on top yeah I love this colour it's absolutely beautiful I am really fighting the urge to buy some new colours like I know it seems like I've only just bought these ones but to be fair they took like quite a few weeks to come so I actually ordered these even though I've already had them for a couple of weeks but before they came I ordered them quite a while ago so by the time they came I was itching to like place another order I'm still waiting on a couple of things from Diamond Glitters actually I've got a couple of um a couple more what are they called spill the gels to come yet so hopefully they'll come soon I love this colour this is Ariel I remember the name of this one because it's just beautiful I think it's going to be really popular in the summer in fact I might even have that for my holiday nails um, because I was going to have this one I'm about to do which is mint tea but I feel like I'm not going to have a major amount of time to do my nails for this May holiday so I need something really easy so I'm thinking if I have Ariel I could quite literally just have that and I'd be happy with that because it's got like a a shimmer to it so I wouldn't be sad that it was plain because it's not really plain I've not even opened enough colours which is a bit silly so yeah, I might go Ariel, have that on my nails. But to be fair, Ariel's not really my type of like toe colour. I don't tend to do colours like that on my toes. So uh, I'm not sure. This one is also beautiful. And then last but not least is this one more. I think there's only a couple that I'm going to do a second coat of. So that's good super quick i don't know why i've been putting this task off for so long because like i said it's, it's a pretty quick job to do so i'm just going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure and then i'll do the second coat and in the meantime i'm going to paint two off another lot so i can do them while they're in the lamp so i'm not wasting time sat around so there's only two left this blue is just stunning look at that to be fair there's not many colours I wear on my toes I'm not going to lie that is one thing I'm quite fussy with is my toe colour so once I've done the swatches I then just get some isopropyl alcohol and just take off the tacky layer off the back of them I haven't top coated or anything because obviously this bit is going to go onto the bottom of the the bottles so basically i just get a bottle i get one of these sticky dots that come with them make sure the bottle lid is clean stick that dot on peel off the layer on top and it leaves that stickiness and then all you need to do is just take your dot off here and just pop that on the top press it down that's it you've got your colour on your lid so I'm just going to do that for the rest of them okay so they're all done now which is good because that means that i can find them now when it comes to people choosing those colors although i'm not being funny the weather at the moment is so up and down people are not really tending to have in to have these like really bright colors anyway but just look how beautiful they are like i am so excited to finally get to start doing like holiday nails i've done a few obviously as you've saw um lately anyway but i'm excited to 
to finally get around to doing them like all the time because a lot of my clients are going on holiday this year um but yeah so these dots are brilliant if you have bottles without lids on they're perfect so you definitely get some of those um so for now it is 20 past three i'm probably just going to film another video now like a quick nail art one um and then i'll show you what i film like when i've done that i'll show you what i did and then i'll show you what my last client ends up having and then like i said dinner and gym and then that is it for the rest of this evening so i'll probably leave the video there so it's not stupidly long um so yeah, I'm going to get on with filming a quick video before she comes at... Oh, I didn't even tell you. I have someone in at four. <laughs> so it's 20 past three. I've got someone in at four who is literally just coming in for me to fix the nail. Um, because she's going on holiday on Wednesday. So she wants them all to look perfect, of course. So she's popping in at four. I'm going to fix her nail. And then my last client is in at five. So yeah, it's all systems go so this is a video that i've just finished filming it's going to be like a the easiest marble ever video super super simple but really effective um so i will be uploading this soon if you haven't seen it already probably will go up after this vlog video so look out for this one probably the next day or something um but yeah so that's what i've just finished it is quarter to four now so my next one will be here very soon so i'm just going to tidy up everything that i've just used for these and then i will show you what my last client has at five o'clock so I've just finished this evening's client. It is now quarter to six. She got here at about quarter to, no, I think it was about 10 to five. And she was just having a quick infill. I'll insert a pic, did I take a picture? No, I didn't take a picture, so I can't insert a picture. But she had this color, mint tea. Um, and then on the ring finger, just had a marble with that and white. So that's all she had. So. Yeah, I can't insert a picture because I didn't take one. Didn't even think till right this second that I was vlogging and I should have took a picture. But yeah, that she was pretty plain anyway, so it only took an hour to do that acrylic infill. Um, I'm going to do dinner now. And we've got steak, I think. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so this is what we've got. We've got these beans. We've got medallion steaks. And we've got... They look really pink. Like, they're not that pink. It's because... I've got the light above the oven on and they look really bright, but they're just steak colour. Um, and these potatoes, I absolutely love these. Like, they're so, so nice. I'm not even being dramatic. Like, they're so, so good. So, we're having this for dinner. And then, as usual, when we finish dinner, we will sit for a little bit. We usually leave the house between 8 and half past 8 to go to the gym. Because I need to eat dinner at like 7 o'clock and then give it an hour to go down and then get ready to go to the gym. My partner comes with me. He stays downstairs on the weight section. I go upstairs on the treadmill and then we come home together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do dinner in about 45 minutes because he's not due to finish work yet. So I will probably put these in now because they take about that. Yeah, they take 45 minutes. So I'm probably going to put these in now and I can do these, the steak and the beans closer to the time when he gets home. And then we'll be going to the gym. So I'll show you what I do there tonight, um, which I'm hoping to do an hour on the treadmill again tonight, but we'll see how far my legs will take me on a on a 12 incline, because it is hard. Um, I've got toothache, I'm not sure why, but it's like really sore. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know why, like it just really hurts. I just suddenly was doing my client's nails and it suddenly just hit me and I was like, oh, I've got toothache. <laughs> Um, so that's annoying. Um, so I'm going to take some paracetamol, I think, because that is going to drive me insane. And then, yeah, like I said, like for now, I'm just going to sit. I'm going to put the potatoes in the oven. So actually, I need to preheat that. And then, yeah, I'll show you what I do at the gym. And then that's it, I think. So yeah, I'll just show you dinner. And then I'll show you what I do at the gym. And then I'll probably finish it off tonight because that'll be two days, basically like two days in the life now. So yeah, I'll see you later. So just quickly finishing off the video because I actually totally forgot last night when I got back from the gym. Um, but obviously I, I put a bit of a clip in of what I did at the gym. It was just another 65 minutes on the treadmill on an incline. Um, and then I will insert a clip here of this morning's client. I've had my first one. I'm waiting for my next three. Um, so I'm waiting for the second one now. But I'll insert a clip of the first one. And that's it for this video. I'm going to leave it there so it doesn't end up too long. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching my last couple of days. Um, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.